Welcome back to English 4.0, the radio show. Let's go! Intermediate. Okay, thank you and welcome back. Welcome to Intermediate, Intermediate Class 2. So we've made it through our first day of English 4.0 radio. Congratulations. Here we are in Class 2, and I'm here with a very special guest today, a student who's also a star from the television. Luca, how are you? Fine, thank you. How are you today? Fantastic. Doing very well. So thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for, um, very much for inviting me. Yeah, my pleasure. My pleasure. So we will start today with our first really normal class, because yesterday was the first class, so it was not a typical class. Today, the class will follow the normal structure where we will have a review of what we saw yesterday, and then we'll move on to today's material. Okay? Are you ready, Luca? Yes, I am. Okay. So yesterday, we were practicing in the simple past. And we're going to continue practicing with that today with the verbs to check. Do you remember that verb, to check? How do you say that in Spanish? Um, chequear, no. Chequear Review, or... Revisar. Revisar, comprobar, comprobar también. But yeah. yes, to, to check. And then how do you say preguntar? To ask. To ask, right, to ask. Very important, the K, right? Ask, right? Okay, to ask. Ask, right. And at home... You're following along always out loud. Siempre en voz alta en casa, no? Right? Right, 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 Luca? Right, right. I think our students at home are pretty good. I think they're following the material well. Do you think so? Yes, I think so. Good. And we always repeat it out loud. Exactly. Because when, when we are at home, there is no one to listen, so it's easier. Exactly, exactly. Okay, and then we had jugar. To play. To play, exactly, to play. Trabajar? To work. Work. Again, with that strong K that I like. One more yes. time. To work. To work. At home, to work. Muy bien. To call, which is? Llamar. Llamar. To call. And reservar. Mm. Which can be to reserve, but we also say to, it's almost like, bueno, libro. Book. Book. But we have the verb to book. To book. So what can you book? Uh, I can book a plane ticket. You can book a plane ticket, book a flight. Flight. Book, uh, yeah, book a, a hotel room. Yes. So it's like res making a reservation or reserving, right? All right. right. Yeah. Okay. So now let's practice in the past. Every day I check, and you can say yesterday. Okay, yesterday I checked. Good. Yes, yes. Pronunciation. What? Ah, yes, that's right. It's time for pronunciation. We have an interesting pronunciation point here. Checked. So it sounds like a T. Anytime we have a regular verb that ends in a K, in the past, the ending sounds like a T, right? Check becomes checked. Okay. Look becomes yesterday I... Looked. Looked. Yeah, looked. It's a hard T. Again? Looked. Looked. Good. Okay. Every day I ask. Yesterday I asked. Good. Asked. 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 Right. Now, at home, be careful because you can't pronounce an extra syllable. Ask. Asked. It's an extra sound, but there's no extra syllable. You cannot say ask it. You no, you cannot say ask it or ask it. So it's ask, uh, one syllable, uh, ask. Yesterday I asked, I asked, uh, still, still okay, one okay. syllable, right? All right. It's you're fitting a bit more sound in, but it's still one syllable. So every day I work. Yesterday I worked. I worked. Yeah, so at home, yesterday I worked. Good. Every day I call. Yesterday I called. 
I so oh, but this is an L. Colleague. I, I called. I called. So this is a D sound, a hard D. Called. Okay. Called. 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 Okay. Good. And one more time. Every day I book. Yesterday I booked. Booked. Okay. Very good. Now in the negative, I'll say I usually play, but yesterday. I didn't play. I didn't play. Right. So did or didn't is the auxiliary verb that we're using here. And that auxiliary verb must always stay the same regardless of the person. I didn't play. My brother didn't play. My mother didn't play. You didn't play. He didn't play. She didn't play. We didn't play. It's always the same. It's easy. E exactly. English is easy. <laughs> right. Exactly. It's Only easy. in this case. <laughs> okay. 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 Good. So, um, usually, let's say, usually I ask the question, but e yesterday... Yesterday, I didn't ask the question. Exactly. Usually, I work with him. But yesterday, I didn't work with him. Good. Usually, I call my mother. But yesterday, I didn't call her. Exactly. Usually, I book the flights. But yesterday, I didn't book the flights. Good. It's easy, right? Yeah. Piece of cake. Piece <laughs> of cake. You say what? Pan, pan comido, right? Pan comido. B piece yes. of cake. Exactly. Okay, good. So now, what we saw at the end of the, th of the first class was my favorite. Well, I have many favorites, but we're practicing with people are because... We thought it would be important to put this in the first class because this is the number one mistake that drives English teachers crazy is when students say, the people in Spain... Is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I wasn't even going to say it, but it, it gives me a headache. I get a pain. I get a sharp pain above my right eye. In, it, it's a headache. I have to take paracetamol because I get a headache when I hear that. Yeah, but for us, it's very common. But for... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but we all make the same that's mistake. Why, and... That's why I have a job, because it's very common for, for Spanish people to make that mistake. So we have to, we have to work to get rid of it. So I'm, I'm looking at my globe. I am. You see this globe? Yes, I do. This globo I have right here but between Luca and I. And so I'm going to look at this globe... And uh, I'm going to choose a country. My favorite. Co what's my favorite country? Canada. Yeah, exactly. My homeland. So the people in Canada are Canadians. Canadian. Yeah. And you could say are Canadian without an S as an adjective, right? The people in Canada are Canadian. Okay. So true. When we have, when we're using it as a noun, oh, there, I saw two Canadians. But otherwise, we say the people in Canada are Canadian. Okay. And the people in Spain? The people in Spain are Spanish. Spanish. The people in Brazil? The people in Brazil are Brazilian. 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 Again? Brazilian. Okay. And at home? The people in India. The people in India are... Indians. India, yeah, Indian. 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 Okay, let's 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 go north. Let's go north to Sweden. The people in Sweden are Swedish. 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 Again? Swedish. Swedish. You have to hear the the last S. I do. I have to hear the S H. The sh Swedish. Swedish. It's like shh. Be quiet. Shh. Okay. Swedish. Swedish. Ah, oh, good, good. And the people in Norway are no Norwegians. <laughs> Norwegian. The people in Norway are Norwegian. Norwegian. Okay, muy bien. Siempre en voz alta en casa, por favor, conmigo. The people in Scotland are... Scottish. Scottish. Good. The people in Scotland are Scottish. And finally, one more, China. The people in China are Chinese. Chinese, exactly. Chinese. Very good. The people in China are Chinese. Word of the day. 
Oh, yes. Did you hear that? It's time now for the word of the day. Our word of the day. Are you ready, Luca? Yeah, what's the word of the day? <laughs> well, are you ready at home? Our word of the day is, in Spanish you say, mezcla. How do you say that? To mix. Well, mix. It can be a mix, but w I have a special word I'd like to use for this. Instead of mix, blend. Blend. Nice. Which is a verb, to the verb to blend, or a noun, a blend. Una mezcla. A blend. So, using using uh, using the noun blend, what is calimocho? Calimocho is a blend of coke and wine. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> what is tinto de verano? Tinto de verano is a blend of wine, a fanta de limón or casera, and some fruits if you want to add. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, so is that... That, that's very similar to sangria then, isn't it? Yes, that I was thinking about it. I don't know very um, well the difference between the two blends. Okay, the two blends. So, But the important thing is, yes, this this word, a blend. It's a blend. It's, it's una mezcla de... So wine and uh, fruit, fruit yes. juices. Um, maybe you can put some other strong alcohols if you want as well. Yeah. And uh, Fanta Gin, de Limon or, or Casera. Casera. You can do with both right, of them. Right, right. Okay, great, great, great. Okay, well, thank you. So that's our word of the day. Blend. Blend. Very good. Let's move on. So now in the student guide, we're looking at class 2.2. 2. So similar to class 1, we're going to look at the same verbs we saw before, but in the third person. So I'm going to say, every day he checks the mail... And you can say yesterday he didn't check. Well, in affirmative, oh. first in affirmative. Yeah, yesterday he yesterday he checked checked the emails. Yeah, he checked the mail or the email. Okay. Yesterday he checked. He always asks questions. Yesterday he asked 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 asked. Yesterday he asked. Questions. Yes, yes, yes. How many questions did you ask? You were you were on on another radio show this morning. Did you ask a lot of questions? Yes, I always ask a lot of questions. Ah, good. Alberto always works on weekdays. And and yesterday? Yesterday he worked on weekdays. Yeah. He, well, he, well, yesterday was a weekday, so you could say yesterday he worked. Okay. Yesterday he worked. He worked. Yes, yeah, sure. My brother books a lot of flights. Yes, he and yesterday he booked a flight. He booked a flight. Sure. She asks me why. And yesterday he asked. She. She, she asked. You why? She asked me why. Very good. My friend plays golf on the weekend. And yesterday he played golf. Yeah, or last, you could say maybe last weekend. And last weekend he played uh, golf. He played golf, yes. You, you cannot say play it in like, it's not a D? Yes. Played. It, there's a D, but not an extra syllable. Okay. okay? So he, every day I play. Yesterday I played, 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 but not played. Okay, played, played. You played. have to force that D sound into the same syllable. Played at home, played. Very good, very good. Now notice how I said on the weekend. British people say at the weekend. They'll say I'll see you at the weekend, and North Americans like myself will say on the weekend. So what are you going to do on the weekend? On the weekend, I'm going to go out of Madrid. I'm going to... I'm going to... To go... To go out of Madrid. Okay, okay, very good. So, again in the past, he works with me. And yesterday? Yesterday, he worked with you. Good. He often books hotels. And yesterday, he booked... Ah, uh, hotel. Yesterday he booked a hotel. Okay. Now let's try. I'll give you the negative and you give me the present. Okay. Okay? So yesterday she reserved a flight. And you could say every day. Every day she reserves a flight. Yeah. She reserves flight. 
She reserves flights or she reserves a flight. A flight. Okay. Yesterday, he checked the mail. Every day? Every day, he checks the mail. Every day, he checks the mail. Very good. Last year, he played well. Um, today, he played well. He, he play. plays. Oh, he plays. <laughs> he plays well. Or he always plays. He plays. always plays well. Plays with the S. Third person singular. That's right. He always plays well. Vocabulary of the day. Okay. Yes, it is time for the vocabulary of the day. All right. Wonderful. Our vocabulary of the day. Luca, how do you say... Magnifico. Magnificant. No. Well, <laughs> well, I made it up. We, we, well, we have a word, superb. Ah, superb. superb. You use it very much. Superb. It's a, that was superb. That was superb. Yes, this is. I think this is a superb English course, don't you think? Yes, I think this is a superb English course. Well, well great. Well, thank you. Thank you. Uh, permitirse, permitirse el lujo de... Mm, to permitir is not to al is too allowed, but in but this when sense, I typically with money, like a Lamborghini, I can't buy a Lamborghini because I can't mm, afford afford. It. I can't afford a Lamborghini. I can't afford it. The verb to afford. Can you repeat Afor that? To afford. To afford. Can you afford a Lamborghini? Uh, no, I can't. I can't afford... I can't afford a Lamborghini. I can't afford a Lamborghini. Again? I can't afford a Lamborghini. Can't, can't. Can't, can't. I can't afford a Lamborghini. At home, can you afford a Lamborghini? No? Okay, and ne neither can I. I can't afford a Lamborghini. Can you afford a Ford, Luca? Yes, I can afford a Ford. <laughs> she can afford a Ford. I can afford a Ford, but I can't afford a Lamborghini. Whew. Yeah, that's a, that's a tongue difference. twister, right? Trabanguas. Yes. Uh -huh. A tongue twister. Approval. Approval. We need approval. We need the government's approval. I need the boss's approval, approval. right? Approval. Approval. Again? Approval. Approval. Very good. Um, how do you say indemnization? Mm. Interesting word here. Yes. So this special payment that we receive, right? Yes. Severance pay. Severance pay. I didn't know. Severance. Well, there you go. Severance. Severance. Because we have the verb to sever, which is to cut. To okay. cut off. Like if you s cut off your finger, you sever. Sever. So, so to sever. But if you're cut off from a company... You get a special payment yes. called a severance pay. A severance pay. Severance. Severance pay. Severance pay. Good. And finally, debido a? Due to. Due to. Yes. Due to the weather, we have decided to stay at home. Due to the, due to the, um, the difficulty of the language, I could not learn Russian. Okay. Due to, followed by a noun. Always by a noun. In this, yes. I mean, we have due to the fact that, debido al hecho que, right? All right? Due to the fact that I was tired, I stayed at home. But due to, debido a, follow, with that structure alone, followed by a noun. We will talk about this at length okay. in another class. Okay. But we are out of time, Luca. We're oh, all out of time. What a pity. <laughs> they say time flies when you're having fun. So we are completely out of time, so we are going to move on. Thank you, Luca, for joining Thanks. me today. Thanks to you. And thank you. Well, you're welcome. And keep listening. Stay tuned. We're going ahead to the advanced class now. But I'll see you here for more tomorrow. Bye-bye. <laughs>